operations quickly returned to normal after this morning's evacuations, but it was a reminder to passengers that we're all traveling under a state of alarm. Run. We got really nervous. We followed the flight attendants and we ran. <laughs> Jasmine Jones still has a nervous laughter after an alarm evacuated the Cincinnati Northern Kentucky International Airport. Jones and her mother were headed to Los Angeles, but felt the ripples of tension that has spread across airports around the country in the wake of a mass shooting at the Fort Lauderdale International Airport on Friday. This morning's alarm echoed the fears from yesterday's chaos. We were just sitting waiting on our um, to go up in line and then we started seeing the sirens go off and hear somebody come on the announcement system and they said evacuate it, so we did it. Accused gunman Esteban Santiago has not been linked to any other ongoing terror threats or additional danger, but the rampage has left passengers on edge. I'm a little bit concerned about the increased tension that I imagine we'll find on like the TSA agents. Um, might slow things down, um, but I'm not concerned of any threats. Law enforcement officials clearly had a more active and visible presence in the terminals and check-in areas, carrying rifles and heavy weapons. Cincinnati flights in and out of Fort Lauderdale were canceled in the morning, but scheduled to operate in the afternoon as flight operations get back to normal. But some wonder if this sense of alert is the new normal. I got here earlier. Um, I don't think I'll be doing anything else. I'll try to be maybe a little bit more uptight. I'm going through the check through. The message from law enforcement continues to resonate. If you see something, say something. Just got to keep an eye out for anyone who might look suspicious and point them out to any agents if it's like seems to be crucial or you know really dangerous. And though the source of that alarm was relatively routine, it is very clear that there is nothing routine about traveling now in this post 9-11 era. From CVG, Richard Childs, WLWT News 5.